with this mind stone. You are mine. Hey guys, Steamy here. I'm back again for another Kurobukiya fine art statue. Uh, this time we have Thanos in the 1-6 scale. A quick look at the art box. And uh, one new thing about this, it instead of having Thanos' name on the box art, it has the Infinity Gauntlet at the back for some reason. Thanos comes in uh, six pieces. He has the main body, the base, two arms, well, two gloves, and two heads. One uh, is smirking, and the other one is kind of angry. Here's a quick uh, close-up on the two portraits. We have the smirk and the angry one. I'm leaning... I think I like the, uh, the pissed-off portrait more for Thanos. Now here's a close-up of the Infinity Gauntlet. The gold paint app they did is quite remarkable. I like it. It's simple, but it works really well. I have no complaints on the paint app on my Thanos. So, Kurobuki is still continuing with their um, decent paint apps with their fine arts from Black Panther to now Thanos. Here's the look on the other glove. It's just a normal glove, but the paint app is still pretty good. I mean, I, there's probably no way they could mess that up. It's just gold. Now both his gloves do not come with magnets, so it's just a metal peg, but it is a pretty good fit. It's kind of snug, it's not too tight, but it still works. It doesn't seem like it's gonna wobble off or fall off really easily. Now the heads though, they do come with magnets, so they just pop right in there. No problem. Now here's a quick 360 on the full scale of Thanos, with first the smirk head on, then I'm gonna swap out to the pissed off head, which I prefer to be more on my display. Now for some final 360 close-ups on Thanos. Now Kurobukiya did a really good job on the paint apps. Uh, there are some shading which I'm happy they did this time. Uh, the, the sculpt itself from day one I already saw that I was going to purchase this because you can't go wrong with um, Eric Sosa doing the sculpt. I'm looking forward to the vision which is going to be the next for the Avengers line. Hopefully we'll get to see uh, the Punisher which they announced last year, but we haven't seen any um, artworks or what concept they're going for for the Punisher. Oh, one last thing, Thanos has a bit of weight to him. I was surprised myself because I thought he was going to be hollow like their Juggernaut. So if you're a fan of the Mad Titan, give this guy a bye. Till next time guys, peace.